Welcome to Monday Night's Tilt and Talk Show, sponsored by Boyle Sports, the principal sponsor of Birmingham City Football Club, and in course in conjunction with Cafe to You in Solihull, Munch's Cafe in Alton, SAS Autos, and Bordesley Labour Club. All Goods Blues Facebook sites are on this tonight and on Switch FM 107.5 DAB tomorrow at 8 p.m. Well, with a little bit of uh, different news this week, and uh, our dear old Mr. Fun, who's been with us many, many years, has uh, decided to. Um, leave the show and all we want to do is give him thanks for every minute that he's ever spent on it all the effort that he's put in all the debate that he's uh brought to the show um actually all the laughs as well because he is quite a funny bloke and um yeah, yeah, yes chris you'll be sorely missed you'll be sorely missed you've been part of the talk and talk show for a long time and thank you for everything that you've done for it and for us and it's been a pleasure working with you over the years here yeah. yeah, yeah. all right camp pedersen Roberts, Dean, Colin, Bellingham, Sunich, Crowley, Lauba, Jimenez, Djukovic, Magoma, Bailey. Take your hats off. If that's not our starting 11, what is from now on? Onwards we go. The Tilt and Talk Show. Strap yourself in. Get ready for it. It's another Monday night. Gentlemen, we've come in with no intro music tonight. We've come in with no, no intro music. music. First time. First time ever. Yeah. Come in with no intro music Still tonight. Well, huh? Did I? I was all over the place like a pair of mad ones. They, <laughs> they usually do that on Sky Sports, don't they? When there's sad news, they, they don't bother with the music and they just go straight to the show. I think that was out of a little And we've had a bit, of, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Should have left it till the last 15, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. On, we go. Right, okay, two games in a week, then we've got to discuss the first one Wigan. What an absolute poor show that was. Well, I mean, what can you say? What a difference. I've never seen two, two such different games in, in the space of like four days. Yep. Um, what I would say is, though, if we'd have started at Wigan with the 11 that we started with on Friday, it might have been a different story because I think Bellingham brings us so much more intensity going forward. He gets Vialba and, and Crowley into the game so much more uh, than, say, playing with another defensive midfielder. It gets us more... Uh, gives us makes us more of an attacking threat. Yeah, I had every ounce of intention of going, uh, and I got to Derby, picked my lad up, and then uh, ouch, I was cramping up on the way, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, oof, you're just going to be stupid if you do, and you're going to end up hurting yourself. So, mm. decided to go and have a few beers at his house and watch it on Sky, which is not what I intended to do. Believe me, because I was I was physically on my way, and I got halfway down the A38, and then decided, no, I can't do it. I can't mm. do it. Mm. Um, a bit of a shame because it's the best, the best it's game the best now for about thirty years. To be perfectly honest with you, uh, watching it on on Sky, it was from the kickoff. The, the intensity was there literally from the word go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And and within the first minute, I was thinking to myself, like, if we can do this all this game, yeah, we got this mm. right. And and you know what? What was it? We had some like twenty three chances on yeah. goal. Mm. Twenty three chances. Do you know how many Man United had the weekend? <laughs> how often do we press for 45 minutes and not come out with the same intensity for the second half and... listen look, right um lots lots of silly talk about gary rowett returning this week i think that's a nonsense mm. to be perfectly honest with you lots of people have been on the old uh on the, on the old book of face and where's that uh, called from uh, i don't know i don't know i don't i don't really care mr rowett has gone his history is finished he was a birmingham city manager i supported him while he was there but he's gone now mm. pep Clutter is as far as i'm concerned and i know they're calling the caretaker coach and all this like, you know, these, to, to me right it's these birmingham city's daffa right and he's got my back in 100 percent. he's the man driving the was ship. in the mood for losing patience after the wigan game because of how poor that performance was mm, and, very poor yeah uh, and um um, you know, but to turn it around and, and to put on a display like that on Friday night, yeah, was everything we ask and demand of a Birmingham City team ever. You couldn't ask for ever. a better reaction to a defeat, could you? The perfect, no, no, rea- the, we, the perfect reaction. We shouldn't have had a... that defeat in the first place, had Paul. No, 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 yeah. no. I mean, Wigan were no yeah. great shakes yeah. at all. They were causing us no problems whatsoever. It was unfortunately a, an error from Camp that cost us. You're gonna have all the haters on. <laughs> no, no, you know, all goalkeepers make of mistakes, it is. but it's always noticed when a goalkeeper makes make make one in midfield and some yeah. will cover you. Yeah, you know, you're, in, got, you're in goal and you make one being that's it, you're done. You've you're got done. players that you've got goalkeepers who get paid a hell of a lot more money than what Cam does doing a similar sort of thing, if mm. not worse. Mm. I've seen wor- I've seen goalkeepers at a higher level do worse things than that. Mm. You know, it was so a bad it, mistake though. It was a bad mistake. Campo, don't let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> don't let it happen again. So, and, uh, and then he pulled off a couple of good saves in the Middlesbrough game. Again, they, they kept us in the game. Yeah. Um, yep. And again, that has to be noticed. If you make an error, boom. If you make a couple of goodies, then boom. Yeah. Um, 
all in all, like that middle was great. It was just something special. It was. It was a pleasure to sit and watch the whole 90 minutes. You know, the, 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 I think I said before we started, it's the first time I've sat there and enjoyed the whole 90 minutes, I think. Yeah. Really. I mean, I haven't thought through every single game, but off the top of my head, since probably the Fulham game, last game of the season before last, that was an incredibly sunny oh, day. Yes, brilliant. You know, I was right, right at the top of the um, GM upper for that one. Yeah, and Great the, atmosphere. the atmosphere that day was oh, electric. And the performance from the first whistle to the last was Goosebumps. fantastic. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, that was very similar in a different sort of conditions, like, but it was a similar sort of game to that, really. Now let's talk about the brilliant. first goal then. Um, the way Roberts yeah. ran down that field, he just whacked it out of that boom straight in. Damn. Yeah. Damn. That just well, wow. Well, well. <laughs> you know what don't happen sometimes it's very often does it so. it was Vialba wasn't it he picked uh, the ball Vialba, up yeah. he picked the ball up in the middle of the park yeah. spread a lovely ball out to Colin uh, Colin beg your pardon yeah. uh, so Colin. Colin gets it right and then he just hits it first time Colin. cuts it back in yeah yeah or Colin sorry Colin, Colin. Yeah. He, 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 he picks him out with a lovely first time ball and then he, Vialba like lovely finish low Mm. And he took something special to beat Randolph because he oh, was in. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a in, top goalkeeper. Yeah, he's a good goalkeeper. Yeah. I mean, the save he pulled off from Vialba's first chance. Yeah, he pulled yeah, off from and then two minutes gone. From, yeah, and then yeah. from Roberts, his header that was yeah. deflected. Um, you know, he's he's a top keeper. Um, so, yeah, full credit to Vialba, really. That was his, by far his best performance for us so far. It was it was probably Sunich's best performance. So, well, Sunich was outstanding. Uh, uh, every Crowley. one of them. Yeah, yeah. Crowley. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jude, as you say, give us that much more... Just more intensity going midfield. forward. Midfield, yeah. 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 Um, Defence-wise, I think we were, we were we were on the ball. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think there were that Apart from their goal, their goal we switched off a little bit. A little but, bit. But, but what didn't look, cost look us look in the end. Look at the response. Yeah. Look at the response. Yeah. yeah. And, and for Odin Bailey to, to score his first goal yeah. in front of the tilt and goosebumps, yeah. Odin Bailey, and then, to, and then to run into the main stand. And that surge from the main stand, man, that was just like, that's not up at St Andrews for donkey's years. It would have been a complete injustice if we hadn't won that game after that performance. Yeah, we deserve bring, more than a draw. Definitely. Absolutely right. Yeah. Middlesbrough didn't bring a lot to us on the night. They didn't cause us many problems. They got that goal. You know, when they equalised, you thought, oh, here we go, typical Blues. But yeah. th- thankfully, they managed to pull it out of the bag and reacted really well to going, obviously, conceding that equaliser. Bailey's 19, isn't it? Yeah. What was the what was the reaction from the crowd at the, at the, at the full-time whistle? Just, oh, at the full-time whistle, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fantastic. Because they scored, you said at 87. 87, 87 we scored 89. Then, yeah. 89. Yeah. What Obviously, a from, it was like pure, it was pure like um, devastation to pure elation in the space of like two minutes. Did many people start leaving at 87? Um, Didn't really notice that, to be no. fair. No. No, no. No. A lot of people do start walking out, and I think they stand by, yeah. The, yeah. They stand by the exits, don't they, and watch the last couple of minutes yeah. before they actually leave. But what way anyone would actually walk out of the stadium to go home at 1 1 with. Four minutes to go would be beyond me if they did. Anything but. from a fan's point of view, Adam? Uh, Sonic has been brilliant most games, in my opinion. So you have to read out who it was as well. Totally agree, Shane. So Shane Goff. You totally agree with Shane. Yeah. yeah. I said on the on the on the page after the game that he's. I don't know if people would agree with me, but he's the best I've seen in that position since Barry Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm he's going to grow. He's going to grow. Yeah, I'm not saying he's as good as Barry Ferguson right. was yet. Mm-hmm. He's got the potential to be, but he's the best I've seen in that position since Barry Ferguson. Um, Crowley again. A cracking game. Yeah. Uh, you know, another player that's, that's uh, he's, he's really proper settled into that team. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's I mean, his he's cross for the winner was... And I'd never heard I, of him. I, thought, I, I didn't think he was... Never really be... heard of him before he came. No, no, no. You no. know what I mean? Sunich, who was he? Well, he was... Yeah. Uh, he was yeah. In, yeah. He was... Alba, who was he? Yeah. Jimenez, who was he? Yeah. And look at them gelling together now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're starting to gel, aren't they, oh, as yeah. a team? And you can see we've got a good team spirit among let's, us no, as well. Let's, yeah, actually, let's, let's, let's not get carried away because they didn't gel for the Wigan game. No. That didn't happen. No. It didn't happen. So. So what I think Pepper's got to absolutely understand is with perhaps swapping Jude around a little bit uh, due to his age, is is that is probably his best eleven that he can put out mm. and the formation. Yeah, that that for me that is I mean Jude Bellingham has turned into such an important player for us mm. at the age of sixteen. Because we are a different team without him in in that position. Oh, I think know? I was still doing my paper round at sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You laugh, you laugh, but it was, you know what I mean? So, so let me pay for it just find only enough money to go to the football on the weekend. A lot of the yeah. comments I saw when we had David Davis and Sonich were saying it was too, too, too defensive. Deep. We were playing yeah. far too deep. Yeah. You know, and what, what Bellingham gives us is that more sort of intensity going forward with the ball. He picks out Vialba more, he picks out Crowley more, and it gets them in the game more. And you could clearly see that on Friday night. Um, Just an all-out an all brilliant performance. Mm. I mean, I... Sorry. I had predicted Blues to lose 2-1. Mm. There you go. That was my prediction. I had 1-0, didn't I? Last week, I can have a look. Yeah. 
Yeah. I went 3-1 at Wigan. We're going to weigh you went... Chris Pugh went 0-1. I was right. You went 1-2. You went 0-1 to to us. No, it's Wigan away, wasn't it? Yeah, nil one to Blues. Yeah, you went 1-2 to Blues. I went 1-2 to Blues. Chris Brown went 1-2 to Blues. And Portsmouth, Chris Brown was 2-1. Not Portsmouth. Middlesbrough. Where do I get this from? <laughs> You've written it down as well. Oh, sorry, there it is, Borough. Um, Chris P was 1-1, 19,000. He weren't far off the mark there. Mm. Uh, Paul Lincoln was 1-0, mm. 21,000. You were a couple off there. Sorry, I couldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me down there. <laughs> the numbers up for you. What was um, the attendance, sorry? Off. It was about 96. Off. Somebody will tell us. Uh, I, I predicted Borough to win 1-0, and Chris Brown predicted Borough to uh, Blues to win 2-0. So I was... <laughs> The only one that got the, the score wrong. And uh, thank you. <laughs> hey, oh, you know, you, you don't have to mind these things when they happen, do you? But what I would say now is they've set that level. You know, let's let's try and stay as close to that bar now as we can every game and try and be consistent. Tell me why there's not one reason we can't play like that every week. Well, you, obviously, inconsistency has been there this season. It mm-hmm. has so far. But like I say, when Bellingham doesn't play in that position and you've got Gary Gardner or... I mean, Gary Gardner's an excellent player but they're different types of players to Bellingham. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bellingham's more like your Dele Alli kind of player who, yeah. who is an attacking midfielder, number 10, yeah. who creates chances and gets other players in the game in attacking positions. Whereas the, your Gardeners and your Davies are more... I think Gardeners are a good passer of the ball, but they're more defensive yeah. type of players, you know? Uh, Lindsay Phillips said, I had a great night on Friday. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Steve, and thank you, Boyle Sport. Hold on, we'll try and get Lindsay on the phone uh, on Podbean. Very shortly, Chris. No, we're going to do the old-fashioned. The old-fashioned. We're going to do the old-fashioned way. What we've had um, with with Podbean. Now, just bear with us with this because we've had some gremlins, not from us. It's actually from so Podbean, they, yeah, yeah. and uh, they found out what they they were, and they sent Chris a work round this morning. But it was for Windows Eight, apparently, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which went out of fashion about thirty five years ago. <laughs> um, so just bear with us for a couple of weeks on the Podbean one. We will get it up and going, and it will be a facility where more than one people can talk at the same time and. And indulge in the show. It's just a shame that it yeah, didn't. Yeah, bear with us. That reminds me of what I was doing when I was 16. I was on Windows 95. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. me, me, me. Nick, we're on Spectrum, man. <laughs> got, a, uh, got a comment from We Dave. couldn't afford computers in our house. <laughs> right now, man. You had a Spectrum. Oh, you yes. spoiled git. <laughs> we oh, yeah. Horace Go Scheme, was it, or something? <laughs> got a comment from Dave Nelson. Yeah, I've seen that one. He says, uh, what do you guys think to the long throw with Roberts? It seems to me it takes too long and gives them a chance to get set. Great passion by the lads on Friday and the atmosphere from the start was great. Absolutely too. super. Well done, mate. Uh, yeah, I, I quite like the long throw-ins personally. Mm. Um, and uh, there was another lad who used to do them for us way back. Andy, Andy Leg. Leg. Do you remember Andy, Andy Leg? Leg? Yeah. And um, he, he, someone was saying, oh, who is it? Who is it? So you just put it on the on, on the on the boom within seconds and we come back. Andy Leg. So like, oh, God, don't you just love Blues fans? Remember Andy Leg? Like, yeah. Andy Leg, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I, quite, I, quite, well. I quite like the, the long throw. It offers, um, you, if, you, if you've got Duke right in the right place and you can get it on his head, boom, mm. you never know, do you? Well, it's, as good as, it, get, yeah. it's technically as good as a corner. Yeah. Yeah. However, though, it, it, does, come in as fast, though. it does leave us a bit open, though, with Roberts up the other end of the pitch. If yeah. they did get catch us on the break, yep. then you know, you need you, we probably need to make sure we've got, you know, probably Sunich next to Dean, in yeah. case, which I'm sure that, you know, we are doing. But, yeah, you do worry a bit about Roberts if... He's caught out like, and they catch us on the break. So he's going to get back into on, is it? Uh, Paul, if, Paul Somerville, great game Friday. They uh, rolled the sleeves up and got stuck in. Just a shame that uh, CHA wasn't still with us. Oh, Shay. Shay wasn't still with us. Would have loved the service. Um, yeah, Shay's not at the best of times at Southampton, has he? No, it just shows you the difference in, in class. But I think, to me, you know, he, he didn't go to a good Premier League team, did he, really? So he's got no he duke get... to uh, give flick-ons or anything like that, has he? To he really, he's only going to get two or three chances every game if he's lucky playing for Southampton, unfortunately. So, yeah. you know. Uh, and uh, Richard Burnett, you silly person. I had a £3 bet on Galaba. Birmingham to win 3-1 at 110 quid. To 110 to 1, gutted. Oh, I was sat in the uh, Black Swan on Saturday and there was a, um, a guy in there and he was on the phone to his girlfriend uh, and uh, she'd put an accumulator on for a pound in the morning and it was like the last five minutes of the game, four or five minutes of the matches 
and all she needed was Swansea to score one more goal against oh. Stoke to win 3,000 quid. I could she cashed, she cashed that 254 quid, yeah. and then Stoke went and scored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not bad for a quid, though, is it, George? No, 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 no. Not that I advocate gambling, because I don't. No, I've been in uh, that Bleep situation. Bleep Razy says, no, Mr. Fun tonight. Just to let you know, Bleep, that uh, Mr. Fonzie left the show. Um, he's always welcome back. The door's always open unless well. Unless it's closed. Unless it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and if we see him coming, it probably will work. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay says she's currently driving at the moment, Chris, oh, and right. dictating to the children. So, ah. <laughs> yeah. uh, Reese Johnson, no Odin, no Odin since he was a baby. Absolute goosebumps when he scored such a top lad. Keep right on, boys. Yeah, keep right on yourself, Reese, as well. What well, I couldn't up to a nice lad in the tilt and could it? it like, just getting his first one, uh, Odin against getting Stoke, his, yeah, his, yeah, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's great to see. I mean, these are the best crop of confidence builders, mate. The crop of kids we've got coming through, though, yeah, yeah, know, it's it's quite impressive, isn't it? Just imagine if we could have gone on to a few of the others, mm. way back, Redmond and mm. Ray, and mm. yeah, 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 Butland, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, he's having a torrid time, isn't he, Butland, mm. torrid. Yeah. He just wants to want out, then he just wants he to just, move. He, just, he needs yeah. a move, he needs a move, he needs to be dropped as well, yeah. He's, never mind, never mind. Um, Sorry? Yeah, Andy Legg had Children Kevin Francis to aim up, though, says uh, <laughs> Dave Nelson. Do you remember? And Andy Legg, Kevin Francis, of course, playing uh, playing up together. That's true. Uh, Steve Smith says it's too predictable. Uh, Roberts altered where he threw the ball. It shocked me, said Dave Twine. <laughs> 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 it's so good to see local lads not only getting in the squad, but playing yeah. and scoring and holding their own. Yeah, absolutely. Got to give. Pep credit that he's willing to give these lads their chance. Absolutely, Shane. I could not agree with you more. And like I say, um, I, I hope Pep went home feeling ten foot tall on Friday night because I think he needed that one. Yeah, he needed, yeah, oh, yeah, he needed yeah, that one. Yeah, tough um, game coming up now, isn't it? Saturday week. At well, Leeds. this is a massive game now. Leeds, Leeds United away is a huge game. Sorry, mm. guys, I won't pay forty forty two pounds to go and watch it. Sorry, it's not going to happen. It's mm. not. It's not going to happen. Did the double over them last season? I we did the double over them we this did. season. Yeah. Is it? It's just dirty theft, isn't it? Forty yep. odd quid for a football fan to travel all the way up to Leeds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I'm moaning about this, but like, God, why can't the EFL just do something like the Premier League had done and said, no, it's capped and mm. it's capped to that? My son says, no, I agree with it. Mm. Said, yeah, you know, do we, I, I don't know whether we charge them forty quid though to come back. And I must admit, I did say I was going to get hold of Amir and ask last week. And I haven't done okay. so. Yeah, I don't know that either. I failed on that one. But, yeah, yeah, but um. Uh, it's going to be a, another packed house up there, probably. Yeah, oh, it always is, isn't it? They're pretty much sat out. They're well week. followed, aren't they? Yeah. They are, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, guys. It's uh, such a refreshing change on Friday. So the lads up for it. Oh, you've already said that one, haven't you? No, no, no. We didn't know. Uh, no. Great <laughs> commitment and effort. Fire up the bus. Keep right on. Do you know <laughs> what? I'd love the bus to come out. <laughs> What's Kevin Kelly asking me? Uh, do you believe Pep? is the manager for the whole season. I still feel there is a change to be made in January to a more known year, especially if we're in contention. Uh, who knows with this board? That's my answer to that. Mm. Uh, wouldn't surprise me <laughs> if they did change the manager, if I'm honest. Um, I they can't see keep, it, They came to, they seem to keep, it. sorry, I can't, can't see it. No, no, no. They no, seem no, to no. keep this interim thing over his head though. I, yeah, I don't like that, right? I don't like that. No. Yeah, um, but what, what? the only thing from my point of view is, is they must, they must, on Wednesday, have th thought to themselves, you know what, Oof, this, this really ain't going to work. And then they, when they saw that game on Friday, you know what, this actually is working. Yeah. Right? And it is a transition. And we're still going through that transitional period. Mm. Um, players are still getting to know, you know, their nuances, where they go, where they don't go, this, that, and the other. Friday it clicked, right? Friday it came together. Mm -hmm. can, that, that, can that be the day that we push on now mm. um, with that style of play? Because it was expansive, it was it was everything they wanted to be. Right? Yeah, it was yeah. everything the owners wanted it to be. It's everything that those fans wanted it to be. Yeah, um, and again, because we don't see football like that. Yeah, and I was actually saying on 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 social media last week, go back to the Blood Thunder Blues, mm. right? But if if this is going to work, right, there has to be that transition with Zola. He didn't just he just didn't have the players. No, right? Pep's brought these these guys in, uh, and whoever has been out there scouting them in this something over. And they've come in from the Portuguese leagues, from the Spanish leagues, or something like that. So yeah. you know they've got the contacts out there, and and it's and if if Friday is anything to go by, it's working. For me. I might put my hands up and say I got it wrong on Wednesday, mm. but I can't I I can't condone that bad performance. It was it was a, a horrible performance. Mm. Tuesday horrible. was Tuesday. Beg your pardon. Yeah, 
We're, I think I for memory, Paul, you just have to keep. <laughs> you know, like, right? for me, we're all just, just remind me of my name in about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> for me, we've either been awful or absolutely fantastic. Isn't that the Blues way? There hasn't been much in between. Has no, it? you know, and, uh, if we lose, we lose pretty badly, playing badly. Um, even some of the games, in my humble opinion, that we've won, we haven't been brilliant, yeah. have we? You well, Linda Ensor, Ensor Robin says, saw Jude and Odin after the match and both had feet firmly on the ground, top lads. That's how it's to be done. Yeah. They? Yeah. Yeah, you know, come out, you socialise and be nice to people and just do, 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 do. Oh, you, you know. as a, Obviously, as a, an avid Blues fan, I want Pep to do well. He's there at the moment. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's the interim caretaker manager or coach, head coach. And I hope he does well for us. And it's an know. interesting point from Steve Job. I was impressed with the lad, uh, Con Cameron. In the last under 23s game, also mm. don't forget Josh McEachern still to be added to Absolutely, the mix. yeah. No, yeah. he's another type of player that may, may be able to, you know, give Bellingham a breather. Yeah. You know, because he could come into that position and, and do the same as what Bellingham's been doing on Friday, you know, pick out the attacking players a bit more, get us forward. So Kev Kelly says, Paul Hipkiss, do you believe in Pep Clotet as the manager for the whole set? Oh, we've had that one. That's the one, yeah. Just, just, just answer that one. Yeah. Up now. Yeah. yeah, my answer to that is. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, if we didn't have, if we did have another manager change. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I don't think we will. No. I don't think we will. Craig Courtney says, um, Adam, your head is shining tonight. I noticed that so comment. Mr. I Mr. did. Yeah. You come off. Yeah. <laughs> you, you they swap, know, what you, they did, they swapped chairs. <laughs> you know what? I worked work the lights so that it wasn't shining on you. Because you're swapped seats, seats now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but whatever happens, I can't get it off your head. Yeah, Craig Courtney says, Scouts deserve a medal. Great players. In yeah, I saw that. Potential. Absolutely. That's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Three Comments. days in six days probably didn't out with the Wigan performance. I see what you're saying, Dave, but you've got to, you've got to turn up. Uh, and we didn't turn up at Wigan at all. Not at all. No. Not at all. No. Uh, Lee Malin, so glad to see my man, Fran Laba, score a debut goal for Blues on Friday. Yeah, he was excellent. Uh, capped a stunning performance where he never stopped chasing. He harried Middlesbrough throughout the entire game. Some of his crossfield passes were of Premier League quality. I heard that to my son. Uh, the whole midfield four were outstanding and all deserved man of the match, to be honest. Keep right on. Um, He's sponsoring were... him, isn't he? He's sponsoring <laughs> Bielba, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. Cafe to you, so you're... He's, um, oh, yes, of Bielba. course. He's a sponsor. sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee Maiden, there you go. Cafe to you, Solly Hall. Get down there, get some munch down, yeah. Well, we're talking about Cafe Solo, and big thanks to uh, to Lee as well, because I came out of a job, uh, you know, and there was a cup of coffee on my bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was in the cup. Yeah, 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 so cheers for that. It was, a, it was a cup of raspberry coffee. Oh, no. Which I've got to say was absolutely disgusting. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks anyway. Raspberry but the thought, it was a thought that counted, wasn't it? He just wanted to get rid of it. So it was probably his last He probably had four years. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Turton, someone told me that Bellingham has a younger brother who's also in the youth setup. I'm um, told he's also very good. Has anyone seen or heard about him? Can we play him at 14 with a big smile on his face? Um, I don't think I'd go down too well. Parental with the, permission. Uh, with the authorities, would it really? Uh, but no, I don't know anything about Jude having uh, a little brother. Nothing at all, but there you go. Future's bright, though. It's in, it's in our future's right. Future's blue. I think he's got a hell of a future ahead of him, Bellingham. Can we keep him? I hope. I certainly hope we can for at least a couple of years, a few years, because he is of the certain quality, and him and Sonic in particular. Mm. I think you know a top six championship quality potentially. You know, so and the, we've got other players around them as well that could be. So I don't want to. I'm going to say a horrible word now. Yeah, go on. But Brexit. Yeah. What happens in January with the transfer window, if it happens, and everything else? Can we get? Players from abroad still? Don't bring politics into football. No. You will get shot. But, you will yeah, get shot. shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, is it going to be work permit based still? Like, I don't know what happens. There will be some kind of work around. I'm Does sure. anybody else? Yeah. Anybody yeah, else? I'm sure the football authorities. There'll be nobody left in the Premier League, will there? <laughs> <laughs> but with our youth set up, they, everyone's coming through from the, the youth team. It's, yeah. for me, I'd rather that than plucking from abroad, to be honest. If you can get the odd gem from abroad, like with, with these three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then then go for it. And uh, Pepe have contacts out there, don't worry. He's, uh, I think he's, I think we he's more club, stupid than, than, than people give him credit for, to be fair. I do, I really do. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Linda Robbins, <laughs> bye Adam, because I mentioned Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no, uh, no listeners <laughs> left and no viewers left. Yeah. <laughs> Well done for that. Your first night in France. Bring back Mr. Fun. What's that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you watch your nickname? 
don't know. Uh, we haven't got Ooh, one yet. Oh, there you go. Start to do that. Yeah. yeah, we need a nickname. We need a nickname. Mr. Wilkes', Mr. Wilkes nickname. Kind of on the Joe 90 theme. Mr. Wilkes. <laughs> I've had that before. Harry Potter. Be original, though, please. Be original. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're better than that. Well, actually, no, we're not. <laughs> the age, though. The, I mean, the age of the average age of the squad is so exciting, isn't it? When you think we've got Vialba who's 21, 22. Yeah. You yeah, know, you've got, you got Sonic who's 21. You've got Bellingham who's 16. Was, Bailey's 19. Phil Harden. Said, yeah, with, the, yeah. Uh, with the team being so young, they will have bad games. Patience is important. Yes. It's that is very true. That is very true. Anything, football fans kids, are notoriously um, unpatient, aren't they? Um, you know, and it's so easy to do at the end of a game, isn't it? Hmm. Not something I do. No, me, me neither. Not something I do. No. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah. As next. long as they try, yeah. On to the next one. As long as they try. But they didn't just try. They, they gave, everybody gave a shift. And that's what, you know, it's what's really inspired me tonight is that every single player, yeah, even the substitutes, mm. were they were at the right time. Uh, everything was inspired and it was just bang on. I want to talk about something actually as well. When Bailey scored mm. and he went in the crowd, he was mm. absolutely, you know, as, as he rightfully should be, he was so happy. And then he's come out back out of the crowd. He's gone back to take his position at the other end of the pitch, and the referee's booked him. He has to. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Um, I just think if, it's if absolutely it's a law that's in in, in the in the books and the rules of. Football, he take his shirt off. No, uh, whether he took his shirt off or not, he it's, didn't. It's stepping no, over, it's stepping over that advertising board. Yeah, it's just, that's just oh, passion. Not being funny. The others that stepped over there as well should have also been booked. Really, uh, if if what's good for one should have been good for all. Not not asking them to. Don't get me wrong. Um, I kind of get it if you take your shirt off, I suppose. Look, look at the security but, issues. Look at the surge forward. Somebody could have got injured. Somebody could have got hurt. Don't know. It, it, you know what the safety people are like nowadays, right? You have to wrap yourself in cotton wool before you go to a football game now. Yeah? I just think uh, it's... And then you have to sit on, on bubble wrap. Yeah. Uh, I had a big tube at home the other day. <laughs> She <laughs> says to me, she's where she put it. I says, pop it in the corner. She's like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, because I wasn't listening. <laughs> yeah, so I think that rule needs to take Especially in the ninth, like, scoring in the ninth yeah. minute, jumping in. Yeah. Um, motion. Yeah, absolutely. But one thing I noticed as well was Harley Dean was congratulating every single kid when Bellingham went off. Um, you know, put his arm around him and congratulated him for his performance. And then he did something very similar with Bailey when he, after he scored as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. You know, I like to see that from the captain. That's great. Yeah. Some cracking comments coming in tonight. Uh, Tony Jones, uh, any change in life takes time to work, and these kids are so young. They are young enough to learn new systems. Give Pep a break and back him 100% behind you. I was supposed to be using that. I know. Um, just, just for me. Sorry. I'll give it you back. And on, on that note, of just a second, I had a message from McConaughey who says, Dan Crowley, 22, Ivan Sunjik, 22, Jude, 16, Fran Villabi, Villabi, I think you were saying. Yeah, blah, blah. 21. And all four of them were involved in the goal. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that saying And any one of them could have had man of the match, in my yep. opinion. Yeah. Kev well, Kelly, quite agree with me. Kev Kelly says, for me, Pep's body language is off. Appears like a lemon approaching the cliff. He's a good coach, but you need a good manager to get consistency. Let's wait and see, Kev. Let's wait and see. And Steve, BCFC, Tarbuck, big up to Solly all. Oops, sorry. I missed that one. Big up Solly or Moore's. Uh, no pay on the gate, just gift boxes, so you pay what you want. Keep. Oh, well, I that's that's what a cracking that's a great idea. That is. Right, now we sponsor our own football team now, don't we, Chris? We do. They weren't Which playing this weekend, unfortunately. Huh? They weren't playing this weekend. Okay. But, uh, I believe they've got a cup match coming up, so I'll get, get a report. So the whole time. Okay, we're, we're going to, um, because the Tilton Talk are coming, Show. I think the guys are coming in next next Monday as well. Lovely. And yeah. then because the Tilton Talk Show sponsors them, what, what we do is we'll put all those reports and that on the yeah, yeah. Talk Show page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. No, they're well um, up for it. They're well up for it. Can you scroll up two, please, if you would? Okay. I'll miss uh, those. Yeah, not, not many people no, agree with me. Not this many... has never worked before where it's scrolled and now it's decided Well, Linda, to Linda's been behind Pep at the start of the season and still behind him now. Jez McDonough. Yeah. No, um, uh, da, 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 he's, uh, we have more points on the board now than we did this time last year under Monk. Uh, there we go. And Benji Smith, we have the best right back in the league. I honestly think we do. And yeah. Paul and Adam uh, need a dusting with compact to ease the shame from. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and just while we're on uh, boards, the socials, a big thank you to Ian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> big, big thanks to Ian Connor as well for the book. That's really appreciated. The, well, I was going to come to that. Trevor now, Francis today, book, you, yeah, you've been gifted uh, a Trevor Francis signed book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What a lovely gesture that was. Fantastic. And that was Fantastic. from? Bordesley uh, Labour Club. Uh, 
and Ian Tell Connor. What, brilliant, what a brilliant gesture. No, yeah, we've got, we've got like a wall of fame and a hall of a bit of a museum going on here. Yeah, um, yeah. So that will be uh, a, a much welcomed addition to the to the artifacts and the bits and pieces we've got mm. here. Yeah. Uh, pictures and that all around the room. You know, we're filling up, Chris. Trevor Francis pen. <laughs> You've got Trevor Francis pen. I there? have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a box I can't find. Right. <laughs> No. <laughs> right, any of you older Birmingham fans out there, this is a you Can included. So you won't, you won't be included. In uh, remember when the old cop came down? Yeah. What piece did you nick? Didn't didn't nick one. Oh, you're such a nice boy, aren't you? <laughs> I've got a little grill from at the front, right at the front. Just yeah. A little piece of grill. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I've still got it. I remember yeah. going to see it with my dad in the car. Yeah. We, we, was, we were sort of in, I remember it was yesterday, sitting in the car with my dad, looking over the fence, like out the car and having to walk up and just watching them build it and actually get in and nick anything. All right, you've got, you got five minutes. I want to find out who, who pinched the best piece of memorabilia from the old cop. Who scored the last goal? Ah, oh, don't ask me, because I've got the memory. <laughs> <laughs> who scored the last goal in front of the old St. Andrews? Before oh, it was I'll have to just to find out, because I ain't got a clue. I don't, I don't do that. I I'm don't turning into memory. a quiz master again, sorry. Right, so which bits did you pinch? Adam, can you keep your eye on that? Now? I will do, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. And mm. uh, uh, check to have stepped up in training, so another quality player to come into the squad from Gary Spencer. Mm. I, I like him, I do. I think I he, yeah. he looks very good going forward. He's just not really been given a good run in the team at any point, has he? <laughs> so we shall see. Not many people agree with me, do they? On, uh, no, Friday, no. So. Is Adam advertising for McDonald's? Yeah, I saw that. Too. Uh, Thanks, yeah. Jez. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of get where people are coming from with that one. You could, you could, I suppose you could cause uh, havoc, couldn't you? You jump into the crowd. So we could say Mr. Rowley, Mr. Rowland. What's that? Not Mr. McDonald. <laughs> McDonald, no. Donald. Right. Louis Donawa? Don yes, That's correct. Cool. Mark Andrew Adams. Yeah, it was Louis Donawa. Yeah. I'll tell you, I hate people. Against Bristol, like against Bristol City, yeah. I really, I, I can't, I just can't remember. Steve Job, about two comments behind with yeah. the right answer as well. He also scored the first one as well in front of the new one. Really? <laughs> I got that yeah. stand up quick then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, my brother in law, this is from Maureen Minute. My brother in law got a barrier to put outside the uh, <laughs> the Daventry yeah. Working Men's Club where he was steward. That's brilliant. Yeah, a few people uh, got, got uh, barriers and things. Yeah, yeah. Last day of the cop 2 2 versus Bristol. It was a Bristol Bristol player scored the last goal. Oh, last goal Said, for Blues then. Sorry, I'm Oh, mate. yeah, okay. Says Alan Watton. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Al Alvera Gimenez is one of the dinosaurs in our squad. <laughs> 28 so, years old, yeah. 28, yeah. <laughs> and Duke. That was Duke, 30, 31. Yeah, got to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Campo. Camp, 35. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, but we got we got this goalkeeper to come through. You know, it must be different taste in music in the dressing room, I'd imagine. Music? Mm. Oh, God, I can't listen to that. <laughs> Just saying amongst the squad, like, you know, they must have different music tastes. Yep, Djokovic is 30. Yep. Mm. Three-word review. Yeah, go for Three it. Word... <laughs> Three-word review. This week's winner is Nick Lewis with Bailey's and Dream. Ooh. Excellent. Give us, message me, um, Nick Lewis, and I'll get something nice off to you. There you go. What a moment for the kid. That was unbelievable. What a moment for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, like one moment for the fans, you know, seeing one of the youngsters get his first goal up on the tilt, brilliant yeah. to win it at that time as at well. That time, yeah, yeah, no, he never slipped, slipped a wing, did he, on Friday night? <laughs> no. I must say that by the time the full time whistle had gone, I'd, I'd, I'd numbed some of the pain, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, it's over to the local, like, it's like a alcohol shop, they've got like seven and a half percent beers there. Mm. Four for six quid. Well, I'd be that. I'd be that. Alcohol shop. Yeah. In an outdoor. Off license. Off license. Off license. Alcohol shop. Off oh, yeah. right. Bargain boozer. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> there were plenty of other, you know, <laughs> reputable alcohol retailers at, throughout the course of the trade. <laughs> Spoil your local pub. <laughs> uh, Chris, you've had some good news today. Let's hear yes. about it. Live on air. Um, yeah, well, I have. Because it needs talking about. It's a, it's a second. It's a second operation of that actually. I um I had cancer a couple of years ago. Um, I had a small tumour. I had it removed and it all disappeared. And I thought that was it. And unfortunately, it came back again. And um, so I had an operation in June. And I've been to the uh, hospital today to have a small, small op, not a small op, investigation. Mm -hmm. Procedure. 
which is why my voice is a bit higher this week. Um, <laughs> as to where they put the camera, I'll leave that to your um, yeah. Just leave it there, yeah, leave it there, and, uh, and it's all clear. So, uh, da -da -da -da. And once, and once again, <clears throat> clear. So, there you go. Fantastic, absolutely news. brilliant, yes. absolutely yes. brilliant. All good, all good. Uh, Pat Bedley has got to go. We'll watch later. Cheers, thank you. As always, great show. Keep right on. See you later, Pat. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Uh, Craig Courtney says the spy team is set. What if this remains? We will be okay. And Peter Taylor had a tear in my eye when Bellingham scored the winner and the same with Bailey. That was brilliant. Mm. Brilliant. Nice fab. Oh, there we go. Interjection. Only because Craig Courtney says, ding, ding, Mrs. Brown, ring that bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adam's in charge of the bell tonight. I'll give him one job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bell. No. <laughs> no, no. Right. On a serious note, ladies and gentlemen, this is, a, this is an urgent appeal on behalf of our friends at the Birmingham Homeless Support Team. They have almost but run dry of all supplies. That yep. is literally everything. Mm. Um, so what we're asking for is sleeping bags, socks, jumpers, coats, pullovers, hats, scarves, gloves, toiletries. toiletries, you name it, anything that can help these guys out. They've got, um, is it a PayPal page? I think, something like that. If you look on, on, on their um, mm. Facebook page anyway, BHST, Birmingham Homeless Support Team, are in desperate need of supplies. And as we're supporting them all through this football season, what we'd like you to do is uh, pull out all the stops and anything you've got, please, 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 please go along to one of these places. Bordsley Labour, Labour, Labour Club, Club. Yeah. the Conservative Club at yeah. Chelmsley Wood, oh. or get in touch with Mrs. Brown here, and he has a lockup where we can organise the boys and girls to come and pick up the bits and pieces you drop off. But this is in a desperate situation now because I've literally got next to nothing yeah, and I'm yeah. going to go out. Yeah, can I just shift. say I went I went up on front on Thursday because I had a small bag that somebody gave me, and I was really um, I was really surprised there was nothing in the bin. It right. was empty, right. which I've never seen before. Okay, so <clears throat> that's how desperate they are. Well, I was going to wait a couple of weeks and then start my campaign, but I will start yeah. that when I get to my yeah. Please, if there's anything you can do, anything blankets, anything that keeps people warm. I mean, just go and stand out for half an hour now and just a t-shirt. Mm. Huh? And then imagine having to do that twenty four hours a day. Mm. So come on, we're Birmingham City fans, we do it our way. Now, Mrs. Brown is holding up a picture, and this is of a, a football programme. They can see it. And the, the match is... Oh, that's right. It was it's... Out. Stephen Clements, isn't it? So it's yeah. mid, mid, to, mid to late 2000s? Yeah. So issue, look. Issue 23. Issue number 23, so it's a numbered, signed print by the Blues players. Um, is it of a specific game? Sunday, 4th of March. Cardiff City. Right. Cardiff so it's Birmingham City versus Cardiff City. <laughs> and the whole Birmingham City have signed that. Right now, last time we had Richard Golden um, very kindly donate 300 and was it 25 pounds? Something like that. Yeah, for cha for, for the, the change for shirt. The, for the signed shirt. Um, this is what we've got now for the Birmingham Home and Support Team. Every single penny, and I mean every penny, will go to them. We take nothing out of it. We take. Um, we don't even take the money. You just directly... <laughs> Just uh, put we'll it into the account and then we will make yes. sure that that picture gets to you. So <clears throat> if you want to start bidding, you can do it either here tonight mm. and on the Tilt and Talk page or by messaging Chris Brown direct. I don't think too many of us should get involved. Mm. So if we leave it just be Chris, yeah, 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 fine, yeah, um, yeah. then, uh, yeah. then you will know where you are because then you've got like the two places to look. That's three right, places. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. on here tonight, you can, you can bid for that signed um, number 23 of mm. how many do you know? Oh, no, no it says number 23. No um, but let's see if we can raise some money Anything. for these guys. Anything. We can start it off with a fiver. That's a start, isn't it? Mm. Okay. Mm. Should we do the alphabet? Ooh. Ding dong. Do you want to draw it, Adam? Yeah. It is alphabet player time. We, we named it somewhere last week. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> alphabet blues, would it? No. I remember. No. Right, in here were 26 <laughs> letters of the alphabet, A to Z, and we draw one out each week. And it is your best player, surname only, the best Birmingham City player, surname only. We'll go into the top 26, and then at the end of the season, we will pick a team of 11 out of that. Um, and that might be a competition that we could do. Mm. So, hmm. well, we've, got, we've got on record, haven't we, all the letters we've had so far? Oh, yeah. Our 11 versus everybody else. <laughs> Well, Robbo was last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know Kevin Phillips got P. And, yeah. Right. Um, there you go, Mr. Wilkes. Just pick one out of that. So there's no Gannigans. Oh, I've got two. All right. Take them. That one. 
We have I. 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 A for Alpha. A for has, Alpha. It has to be a surname, right, of a Birmingham City player beginning with A, and it's your favourite player of all time. Are you sure that's an A, not a D? <laughs> well, it could be a D. Is it, is is it, it in D? Capitals? Let's have a look. Is it in capitals? Yes. Is that light, or is it? Oh, no, it's a D. That's a day. Oh, that's a day. Okay. That's a day. Now we gave you two jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've now screwed both of them. Ding dong, ding dong. So, so that's a D. 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 Obviously, there's one that sticks out straight away in my mind, and even I can remember him. And uh, that's Christophe Dugarry. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. But anybody else beginning with D? We'll scrub all the A's. Uh, <laughs> sorry, everybody. Great for radio. Uh, we've, isn't it? Sorry, we've got we've got a name for the game as well. Um, Alphabetti Spaghetti game or Alphabetti Blues Spaghetti. <laughs> it'd be wrong of me not to say Devlin yeah he oh, would God, yeah. Stephen Gill Jose Mingez oh Jose oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Mingez shh, shh, shh. Tony Hurley Dugarry Dugarry Steve Dugarry. Portman Devlin, Devlin Steve Job Davis, Devlin De- Kevin mm. Drinkle <laughs> Daish Liam Daish oh proper Daish, Daish. Yeah. Oh, Daish. proper yeah proper proper <laughs> yeah it, we'll, we'll literally have to do it based on the votes on um, tonight's yes, show. Yes, it is, but based it's, on the votes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Dugarry, Dugarry seems Dugarry, to be... Dugarry, Dugarry, Liam, Dugarry. Dugarry. Harley Dean, Mark Dennis. Mm. Mark Dennis, another good player. Excellent yeah. Player. Proper little hard nut. Yeah. It was a great team of hard nuts, wasn't it? That? Uh, yeah. I think Dugarry's winning at the minute. Uh, yeah. So Kevin Dillon, Dennis, says, Dugarry, uh, Devlin, Alan Ames Dennis. Alan for the A, which would have been a good call. Christoph Dugarry, no competition. Mark Dennis, Mark Dennis, Harley Dean from Benji Smith, yeah. Louis, Louis, Louis Donover from Mark Adams, David Dunn just for the Feld Rabona. <laughs> oh, yeah. David Dunn was quality when he played. It's just a yeah. shame we couldn't keep him on the pitch. Yeah, because he was a, a player, wasn't he? Yeah, just nice. Paul idea. Devlin from Richard Hayler, Jason Drend, Gary, Julian Dixie Dix. from Penny Wood. Yeah, remember Kevin Deard and the goal. Yeah, David. Yeah. Ah, that <laughs> Louis Donnell from Craig Courtney, Christoph to Gary again. Donaldson. Donaldson. Of course. Clayton, of course, yeah. yeah. Paul Devlin yeah. should be top from Steve Portman. Paul Devlin, listen. When you think about it, I <laughs> mean, Scott Dan. McGarry's gone Julian Dix. Warren Sterling's gone Dix. So it's just based on no. ability. You know, it's it's based on your favourite, isn't it? Goff is Daish. Mark Adams, I think he's already had a go. Yeah, Ray Orton says Scott Dan. Scott Dan was good. Yeah. yeah, good him and yeah. um, Roger, Johnson. Roger Johnson. Roger Johnson. What a, yeah. what, and, and once they got split up, that was, was it. Johnson was never the never, same. Though, never the same. No. Never the same. No. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Gillan's got a lot of votes. Kevin oh, Gillan surprised me. Julian Dix, yeah, I just yeah, thought yeah, of as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it seems to be between um, Paul Dev and um, Degarry. Degarry. Uh, Degarry. A lot of um, Degarry's. Daishi's got a few as well. And Daishi, yeah, yeah. Daishi. Scott Dunn, of course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Donaldson. <clears throat> Yeah, Julian Dix. Yeah, Daishi. Daishi was proper, wasn't he? Top player. Oh, yeah. Solid. Yeah. He could have threw a slab yeah. in there and he would have headed it. <laughs> 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 I don't know that's a good thing or not. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Harry Daly by Paul Lilly. Devlin from Bleeps. Um, mm. Daish, 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 the Chesterfield trumpeter. Let's have a look. To Gary, no competition. Even Devlin would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Des possibly would as well because I think I think the Gary was just one of those players who was a class. He was immense, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. We think. Yeah. So. I mean, what, his, in his what, we, what would we do for him in our setup now? Oh, David Davis. David Davis. Yeah, yeah. Course, been yeah. a good servant to us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> On a hard knocks in December, we have Dash, Blake, and Granger in an evening with BCFC hard knocks. Tom Ross is hosting. Looks like the 6th of December will confirm next Monday. Yeah, do that's that. And then the, we'll, um, we'll certainly plug that for the Borsley Labour Club. Borsley yes. Labour Club. Do loads at the moment. I, don't know. I wish I could get over. I wish I lived closer. Has anybody got a house in Birmingham I can have? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had no rent, no rates, no electric, no gas, no nothing. He was, he was decent. Richard Dryden. He was all right mm. for a bit. For a bit. Nick. Colin Doyle. Yeah, Colin Doyle. Doyle. Colin Doyle. Yeah, good, no, good goalkeeper, Colin Doyle. Mm-hmm. You have yeah, that little spell. Didn't he, when he said the penalty at Wolves? Yeah. Greg Downs. I don't remember that one, Mark. Yeah, I would do. Greg Downs. He was in the 91 yeah. Lyle and Duff. Ah, squad. yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I just, can I, um, uh, just had a really nice message from somebody. I don't know his name yet, yet but he's, he just said, um, Hi, Chris. I know you're live and we'll probably not get this till later. 
I'd like to help raise some money if I can. I've been growing my hair for over a year. I'd like to shave it off if we can raise enough money for charity. I've done it a few years ago as well for Children's Ward at Heartlands. Let me know if this is possible. It's possible. It's easily even possible to do it live. We can do it live on air. <clears throat> oh, wouldn't that be good? So there you go. We've thrown you down the gauntlet. <laughs> you come on in. We'll shave your head. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, my son's a Adam. qualified barber. I, I know all the tricks in the book. <laughs> yeah, mine's au natural, heading backwards. Uh, Eamon Dolan. That's a blast from the past, isn't it? Very much so, yeah. From Daniel O'Sullivan. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Craig Courtney's coming. Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> and good evening to Ray Hobro from the sunny climates of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. He's there always he, on holiday. There, he's always on holiday. Oh, it's yeah. more holidays than me. I had a week. I thought you had a week this year. Not two weeks. A hmm. month. Paul Hick is going to shave your head. head <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. We might get a quick that. Between everybody. <laughs> <It's not laughs> yeah, uh, can I just say the, the chap's name is Thomas T.J. Loughran. Okay, so there you go. We're we'll throwing the gun. They're very welcome to come in come and have it done live on air where we can um, just immortalise it on the uh, on the Tilt and Talk page. I even know and of course, you'd then join our Hall of Fame as well. Mm. Yeah, okay. It's it says, ever growing. It's definitely looking between Daesh, Devlin, and Dugary, isn't it? Those three. Okay, um, it's your competition, so you're tasked with counting up later. But just keep your eye out and for people who have said the same one, two or three or four. I times. will do, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Ray's just said, Oi! That's what we said. Oi. No. Evening, all. Evening, Ray. Ray, that may stand Hobro. <laughs> <laughs> Craig just says uh, three people shine and he's not good for viewers. <laughs> Hang on, who's, who's the third? Well, if, when he comes to uh, have his hair shaved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely have to bring the talcum powder in that night, won't we? I can see it, yeah. Calm it down a bit. I, I think we're going to have to add that up later on. Pretty sure that Devs has probably just edged it. Do you think? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Well, I'd rather I'd rather have a count up if that's all right. And yeah. I should have Devs yeah. anyway. No, because well, it's no, because it's people's vote. Listen, Brexit. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> see what there, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dick Gary was absolutely incredible when he was on loan, and then yeah. he signed permanently, and he wasn't quite the same as what he was on loan. If you remember, for Salvador, Pete Tessie was in the top lighters. Yes, yeah. and he was only here for what a year. To show you something. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Devlin, obviously, he's been a great servant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he was a great guy, Devlin. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was some, some great days, and there weren't they? Tatey, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that season under first said Trevor when he got nine. Was it nineteen goals? Mm. Yeah, if he played through the middle with Paul Furlong, didn't he? And. Um, <laughs> There you, go, ah. there you go, Nick. That's the chance. That's the guy. That's the oh, chance. right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can we can soon have that whipped off for you, mate. My son's a professional barber. I'll ask him if he'll come in and do it for you. There you go. He said it's ready to go, mate. Let me know when I'm in. Right. I'll have a word with my uh, my eldest. Uh, see if I can get him in for next Monday. Does it include the beer? Of course. <laughs> it's everything, isn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in the regulations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can accommodate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Andrew Adams says it's nice because you've got like one of these clean up floors that can, you know, easy there you go, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah uh, what's it called? Yeah. Laminate flooring. That's the one. That's laminate, laminate. Maybe we can do a bit, of a, a bit of a transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Andrew Adams would be the three amigos. Oh, oh. Uh, red card that close. Kev Kelly says <laughs> Daesh 50%, Devlin 48%. I wonder what to uh, do, do, Gary. Oh, yeah, yeah. for Brexit. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh, thank you kev nice one nice one <laughs> yeah okay right so i'll have a chat with me adam when i get out and then and uh see if we'll uh bring his cutters across and see what we can do mm -hmm. no can't promise because you might be working late or whatever da -da 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 -da. don't you ask yeah right yeah failing that I think there's some shears in the back shed which are a bit rusty <laughs> but they should be all right <laughs> <That's scary. laughs> steve tarbuck says congratulations on your news Oh, yes, okay. Cheers, cheers, Tarby. Uh, are we going to get older, Lindsay? Uh, I'm she's not online at the moment. Okay, so no keep, worries. I'll keep trying. Right, yeah. should, we do, should we do a goal? Uh, oh. we can do yes, a goal, a goal, oh, quite, right? Yeah. No, yeah. as you know, I won't know the answer to this. Have you got it ready? Oh, oh Chris has got them now. He's got, it? yeah, it's all being done properly. Now, oh, I mean, it's all professional, yeah. isn't it? 
You watch it, watch it fail miserably. <laughs> can you see that to tell me which one you want first? Yeah, that one first. Um, I'll see if I can drag it over. For, ooh, it looks working. No, I can't drag it over. In the meantime, no, you can't in see. the meantime, England's ladies kick off tomorrow night at seven o'clock in Portugal. So if you want to watch that one, I'm not too sure whether it's on mainstream TV yet. It usually is, isn't it? Mm, um, I think so. Yeah, it's on. Uh... Not done so well lately. Last, I think the last last five, haven't they? Something like that. So that should be an interesting one tomorrow. Mm. And uh, Blues women, the next game is on the twelfth at uh, two p.m. Yeah, Lindsay's on that. Lindsay's on. Paul Devlin. Okay, I'll, I'll give her a call in a second. Okay. Oh, from Roxana, Lindsay's daughter. I'm still, I'm still trying to drive yeah. in the dark. She said so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, the next game for the Blues women is at the uh, Manchester uh, Etihad Academy on the 12th at 2pm. Right, so, okay. You know, anybody wants to go up and support the, the, the women, then they're very welcome to go and do uh, so. At Man City's... At Manchester City. Academy, yeah. 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 It's right next to the Etihad, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How did anyone get on on Super 6? You got it? Um, no, I don't do it, mate. No. Oh, no. Yes, I'm right, I have a £50 pound bet each year with my sister. That money goes to BHST. Right, it used to go to my brother's wife's fund who passed away of cancer a few years ago, but um, he, he closed that fund down now. So it's uh, 50 quid to the BHST. And I failed to do one a couple of weeks ago, and she's a couple of three points in front of me at the moment, so I need to up my game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, clicking was Chris Brown opening yet another beer. <laughs> He's deserved it. I'm celebrating. celebrating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I hope you don't start peeing. <laughs> I just tell you, it's really, really painful. It is. It is. Your, if I go for a pee, I have to hold something to squeeze it. It's that painful. Really? <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I, think I, you I, I can't hold that, that, that either. Re-edit that before yeah. it goes out it's on horrible. Switch FM tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We'll try and get Lindsay. Lindsay, drive safely. Whatever you're doing, don't uh, don't rush for us. We're here until nine o'clock. No, I'll call her. I'll call her. <coughs> okay. so we got it. We got a goal. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Uh, so, I can't are you ready? See it. Hopefully, people will be able to listen mm -hmm. to you and hear it. Here we go. Oh, I think there you go. Play it again, Sam. Hmm? Can you play it again, Sam? Yeah, of course. Bit louder in here. Have a lifeline. Thud of the ball sounded like it was a penalty. Uh, poker right. face. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a penalty. You want me to answer? No. Or? No, 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 no. Right. Let's see if anybody knows what that is. You're keeping your eye on that. Yeah, let's, well, let's, yeah. let's, uh, let's give people a chance to have a go, see if they can get it. Steve, Steve, Steve Jobs. Job. Yeah. I think yeah. Steve Jobs got it, isn't he? Hit the nail on the head already. I'll just try away. Yeah, yeah. Easy one, that one. Well done, Steve Jobs. You got it, mate. Do you want to ramp it up again? Yeah, should we do it again? So, here's another one. Here's another one. Here we go. Mm, a little bit harder, but... Blues Villa. Do it again. Oh, he says he hasn't scored for it. I do because I've just seen it on the screen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Mm. I think I'd have got that one actually. Ooh. Uh, no one's got it yet. Uh, no one got it from mm. Alan Minnett. Uh, England women on BBC Channel 4. To me, so. BBC Channel 4. BBC. Stephen Gill's BBC got it. 4. BBC 4. These BBC are a bit too easy this week, aren't they? We've been yeah, a bit kind. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to work. Yeah. Seb oh, Larson. Villa, yeah. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Right Seb Larson penalty against the, against them in the. I uh, think the next, the last one might be a bit more difficult. Okay. Let's okay. go for it then. Here we go. Maureen said West Ham in the cup, but no, it wasn't. Yeah, we've go. got the last one now, Nick. Mm. Old fashioned commentary. Ooh. Oh, we're going to have to play that one again, aren't we? Yeah. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Motty, isn't it? So, mm. yeah. Right, so. There you go, right. then. Pick the bones out of that Martin one Spence then. Let's go saying Trevor Francis. Mm -hmm. Who against? Mm. Mm -hmm. Francis versus mm -hmm. Brentford. Incorrect. No. No, no. Fr Francis, Francis is Brentford, correct. No. Yeah. Oh, I think Tim's got it. Yeah. Against QPR, QPR. Yeah, well, done, well, done, Tim, yeah. well done, Well done, everyone. That was too well easy done, this week. Yeah, we'll have to yeah, try and make it a bit more difficult. Yeah, we're we'll going next week. Okay, Linda's just sent a message through. Linda Enzor Robbins. Uh, now got a three-barreled name. How posh. Bet she gets out of the bathtub <laughs> away in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Accessi Blues are handing out over 50 Christmas shoe boxes tomorrow for BHST. Well done, guys. And I know they've been, um, uh, the, uh, the Accessi Blues guys have been busily making up these boxes over the last couple of weeks and it's been a great project for really keeps them involved in community projects and that so you know these are the things we ought to really be supporting yeah proper yeah yeah proper mm. proper people yeah. doing proper yeah. things for, for for people who are kind of a disabled community doing, doing things for people who haven't got a house yeah. how nice is that yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Now, banging that's absolutely banging mm. Yeah, a lot of you getting it. Brett Stanley, Trevor Francis versus Queen Park Rangers, goal of the month as well that mm. month. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stephen Gill, born then. 
<rire> nos mains. <rire> nos mains. <rire> Dans nos mains. <rire> ah ouais. <laughs> There was talk of um, someone suggested a statue, didn't they? Of Hatton Francis. I saw Anderson. that. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, I think it's I the fiftieth yeah. anniversary since yeah. his debut next year. Yeah. It's got to happen. Mm. Something. Similar. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Outside yeah. the cop reception. Oh my god, yeah. It's got bronze bronze statues. Three mm. bronze statues. Mm. Mm. All right, Trevor Francis is in the middle. Hatton and Lashley on either side. Right, with room for Odin Bailey's, <laughs> Jude Bellingham, <laughs> or anybody else who wants to join Peter in. Peter all, all of that. <laughs> oh, oh. I know where I'll put it. <laughs> in the tilting toilets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that was a good <clears> shot, <throat> to be fair. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Yep. Uh, oh, can I just quickly say, I'll do the shares in the week, as I did this week. Purely because I'm, I'm not He's prepared. So. He's I'm not prepared. I haven't forgot. I've just not remembered. <laughs> so that's 14 and a half minutes. We've got to shave off the show now. because we're not doing the show. <laughs> Into the last 15 weeks. <laughs> keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. Yeah, all you've got to do is share this on your stream, your personal Facebook stream, to be in with a chance for some goodies yeah. off Mrs. Brown next week. And yeah. like you said, you'll... Uh, you're going to get somebody to draw it out live in the week. I don't mind, yeah. Yeah, do that. Do you want to pop that. over? <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> no, no, it's I all right. I can do no. um, Wednesday about one o'clock in the morning, um, Thursday about one thirty. Yeah, in the or morning. Friday, yeah, in the morning. Oh, right, okay. Or Friday yeah, about yeah. two in the morning. It's your call. Okay. Fair well, enough. I can knock doors hard. Stephen Gill <laughs> says, what about a Gil Merrick statue? But he's got the stand yeah. in his name. So. He's got the stand in his yeah, name. He has, yeah, yeah. He, even then, right, okay, you're right. When was the last time you went into the Gil Merrick? Whew, long time. Right. Yeah, long time ago. So, so you walk in, and then this just this dead area mm-hmm. at the back of you where the railway peters off. You know, mm. they could do something That's nice horrible in there. there. It, it, wouldn't that be lovely to do something really yeah. proper in there? And like you say, have a statue of Gil Merrick in there. It's mm. his stand, and it's named after Yeah, him. fair mm. enough. Yeah. Have it in there. Mm. Why not? Mm. You know, Go to paint. Use a bit of that space. <laughs> um, maybe, 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 maybe our Accessi Blues people could... could Accommodate a bit of that space and have some indoor shelter at half time. The woman and all that, yeah. Huh? There's a lot mm. of space underneath there, you know. You can get a little cafe in there. Mm. Statue of Ray Hobro beyond the main stand, the Ray Hobro stand. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah. Statue of Ray Hobro beyond the Ray Hobro no, stand, no, <laughs> yeah. in front of the main stand, uh, right in between the two managers' boxes. In between the two <laughs> yeah, yeah. on just holiday, just just on holiday, like yeah, like this. <laughs> in front of us, swimming pool. With a pint in his hand and his holiday tickets on the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always thought as well on the back of the Gil Merrick, we've just got that big white. No, we should have, have, we, we, oh, yeah. have this discussion. Yeah. We should have the badge there, shouldn't we? How difficult would it be to superimpose a? Um, How know, difficult would it be for me a to projector put a type thing? A projector like type thing, thing like Batman, you mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I should just get a ladder up and paint it, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. You hold on to the bottom for me. <laughs> Gorilla painting, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, keep your eye on these shape boxes. I want more comments from people. Lee Camp statue, and if it breaks, it's Camp's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Kelvin. <laughs> I can't read that one, but it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Trinity, Francis Latchford and uh, Hatton, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, especially Martin. for the 50th anniversary. Since... Yeah, Martin Jones, Gerald Francis Hatton, the best strike force. I've ever seen down blues. You ain't mm. far wrong there, buddy. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Mm. Uh, can I quickly say that this week's um, caption winner was Tim Croucher Faraday. Again, I think he's a double winner as well. Really? He's a double winner. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me what it was because I couldn't remember. Do you mean to find was, out? But he made me laugh. You find I'll out. find out. You find out. Jess uh, wants to know how did the Edward versus fans fight go over the Well, it didn't quite realise, did it? But. Uh... I think I think that was all a little bit tongue in cheek, a little bit out of um, out of language, and one thing or another. Oh, um, I think of course it was, yeah, but it was yeah, funny. Yeah. You know, I had people talking for a day. I had, it had Twitter trending, and one thing or another. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I think it's one of those things just got taken out of context. I don't think it was meant mm. the way it was said. I don't... Mm. And talking about the Holy Trinity, we do have a T-shirt on the wall actually with the you Holy do? Trinity yeah, we... on. Yeah. With the Holy Trinity on. Yeah. Mm. Somebody can have that if they want to. Uh, if you want to, you can think of you a big competition. They what, can what, have. what an absolute shame that you didn't know about the book the other day. You could have got that down to. I know. I know. I know. He's doing another one soon, I believe. Oh right. Okay. 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 So we might hold on yeah. to that for a, for yeah. a little while then. Yeah. 
So the caption competition, Tim's comment was, why is there a sheep with legs or head floating above my nut? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was something funny. I knew it was something funny. Right. <laughs> Ah, right, I've got, yes. You really it was, that was the, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That was the image. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. can say why they think you deserve it. Okay. Tell us why you think you deserve that, right? It's large. It is a large. It is a large. I deserve it because I'm large. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, do you want to well, you cut in on Nick's right, camera? No, it's not good to me. <laughs> Okay, I'll just put on your lift, camera. Just put lift, it up again. Lift that back up again. Here we there go. you go. Just put it up again. Lift again. So there you go. That's it. You can see it. Then. There you go. That is our Holy Trinity T-shirt. If you can tell us the best reason why you think you should own that, yeah, and it is size large, then it'll be on its way to you. There you go. And there if you could give much. a donation to BHST. That's really a good appreciate idea. It. That's a good idea. Good afternoon here in Mexico, says Basil. Mexico. Scott. Hello, Mexico. Hello, for the money. Oh, oh me, oh, my, oh. He's talking about the sombrero, but I can't repeat it on it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a Mexican player at the Blues? A Mexican player at Blues. Have we ever had a Mexican player at the Blues? Where did Jose Dominguez come from? He's Portugal. Portuguese. Right? Portuguese, yeah. Uh, he sounded Mexican, though, didn't he? Give him a taco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tim, Tim says, I deserve it for winning the caption twice. And I'm large. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's win win. <laughs> Craig says, because I do Twitter. <laughs> My missus said that you can't shave all the beard off, but the hair can definitely go, says Thomas, the chap who's there. Uh, okay, um, no problem. I'm going to have to write that down on my hand so that I remember. Uh, but you might forget. I'll get home and I'll say, why have I got a hair written on my hand? <laughs> why have I written on my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I deserve it for shaving all my hair. <laughs> so, are we doing a show next week? We've got the England game, haven't we? Next what, Monday night. What, six or seven? What, seven? No, I do think the lads are coming in next week. But okay. um, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of say midweek. Yeah, the Sully Hill Town. Yeah, and uh, the Birmingham uh, community uh, coach is coming in as well. Blue oh. community. Okay, just a bit of news then. Birmingham's uh, Senior Cup against uh, Tamworth has been postponed. The date will be announced in the future. That's the Birmingham Under-23 Senior Cup against Tamworth has been postponed. Uh, the date will be in due course. That was announced a couple of days ago, but just to remind in case you felt like going down there. Right, Leeds away predictions. Throw <sighs> it to you. I'm going to go 1-1 one, one at Leeds. All right. Um, We've got three in a week, haven't we? After yeah. the international break. We've got three in a week. Yeah. Who's so three? we've only Who's got three? this one there before we reappear in next Monday. Yes. So yeah. we'll do the other two then. Yeah. Mr. Wilkes. I will say 2 1 Blues. 1 no, 2. Rise and I'm wrong. Mm, me too. And Mrs. Brown. Well, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? 2 1 Blues. Same as me. I'm going to go 2 2. Mm. Right. We'll save that and keep that for next week. And Craig Courtney if... nil nil. What's good is we've got a two week break now, haven't we? So obviously they'll be nice and fresh and we can pick that same 11 that we started with on Friday. Hopefully. Mm. Okay. You wouldn't change anything from that, would you? No, I wouldn't, but I like momentum. I yeah. don't like the, the, the break, the, break yeah. the lull. Yeah, but I'm just thinking of the likes of Bellingham at 16 yes. years of age. Yes, You know. Yeah, he's going to need a rest from them. Mm. said that when I was 16 years of age. I could ride 40 miles on the yeah. push bike, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. Asked me to do half a mile now, and I'd, I'd just put the bike down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to the vet. Put it on the track. Put <laughs> it <laughs> back on the train, yeah. Uh, I, love but... what, I love what Brett Stanley just said. Where's it gone now? He says he deserves a T-shirt because Phil Summerin, Summerhill sorry, knew, knew them. And his mum was his dinner lady. It was his dinner lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not to name names, eh? Not to name names. Uh, can I just say, Basil says, um, we've had a former player in the Mexican League. Can you name him? Right, Basil, Ooh. nice question. A former Birmingham City player who joined the Mexican League. Playing now? Still Ooh. playing now? Uh, uh, I can I just can't think of his name. Well, then you can't no. name him, can no. you? Yeah, the question is dead simple <laughs> for you. You've had two jobs all night. Screw both of them. <laughs> <laughs> the question. You can't even get that right. <laughs> Mr. Fun Shoes with big shoes to fill, all right? <laughs> uh, Dave Twine said we've won, won three of the last four. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, That's we have, yeah. Good. That's good statistic, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Which appears a lot. Yeah. Alex Sheldon, Trevor Francis statue outside with Bellingham doing the unveiling. Oh, Ooh. it's not That's Bob Murray, sir. But that's, not. that's Sheffield United, isn't it? That's big shoes. Yeah, but didn't they go to the Mexican League? Was, what's, the, what's the question? Is, is oh, still, somebody he, else has said Robert Morris. Is someone saying he played in the... He played, he played or still playing? Yes. He played. Oh, okay. Played. Fair enough. 
So yeah. Probably, mm. And we only had him alone. Does that count? A couple of couple of people have said uh, Morrison as well. But um, what's the gentleman's name over in Mexico? Basil. Basil. If it is Ravel Morrison, Basil? please let us know. Yeah. Please let us know. I don't think we've ever had a Mexican player. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is Ravel Morrison. Well Ravel done, Morrison. Mick James and Stephen Gill for getting that one right. Yeah, that's, well done. Uh, well I'll done. Tell you what, that's some memory. No, Atl- nobody here got it. Atlas FC. Yeah, we're not clever enough. Even 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 Adam wasn't quick enough to Google that. I wasn't. Not this time. No, well done. It's your internet connection. <laughs> okay. No, I wouldn't have found that. Atlas <laughs> FC. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look, leads away the weekend. 40, 40, 42 quid. Dirty, dirty league leads. Um, you've, two of us have said a draw. Two of you have said a, an away win. We did it last year. I don't know why we can't do it this year. I've said a draw. Yeah, well, yeah. Play like we did against Middlesbrough. It's going to be totally different. Play like we did against Middlesbrough. We could beat anybody in this we don't year. Have, we don't have an Adams this year. No. And we'll be a bit more cautious away from home, won't we, than what we were at home. But we got Sunich, we got Bellingham. We might not have an Adams, but we scored twice. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Right? We scored twice against Stoke after going behind. Huh? The good thing is, well, well, not not the good thing, but not one of our strikers scored the other night. And we still scored two, and then we scored two at. Um, this is what the attacking midfield is, isn't it? And we two at Derby as well. Not one of our. When was the last time one of our strikers scored? <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does it matter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, our striker. I'll take a goal from anybody anyway. Anyway, I'll take a goal from Lee Camp. Yeah. Looping over the over the edge. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, twenty minutes to go of the show left. Blimey, where's that gone to? Um, the Tilt and Talk Show is once again being nominated by your good selves in the, they don't uh, know that the which awards is it this year? This is for the uh, I believe it's the FF yeah, yeah. Yeah. awards, yeah. Awards. FFS awards, yeah. On the Tilt and Talk page, please go there is uh, a link. Chris Brown's going to put this link up on here in any minute, and this is the link, and it's very, very simple to fill the form in. Even I could do it. Oh, it's a nice, easy one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is nice. A lot easier than last year's. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what we want to do is get them nominated for an award, uh, chog off down to wherever, have a night out, and um, come back with a trophy. Yeah, it does. be nice. Yeah. I believe it's, yeah. But just to get recognition is not a thing. Yeah. And um, like I say, I can tip one I've spoken to before the show. Like, I absolutely not do this make any recognition whatsoever. No. Right? Because I don't matter. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't, Adam. Right? It's the people out there that matter. Absolutely. No, 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 yeah. And I genuinely mean that. Yeah. Right? Well, what's the same by fans for the fans? <laughs> absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody else pinched that, didn't they? I did that. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I never noticed yeah. that. I saw that. Yeah. Somebody else, and then somebody else. Chris, Chris post it in the comments. Oh, is he posted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice one, Craig. He's on the ball. Cheers, Craig. He's on the ball. There it is. Oh. So that's how you uh, the link that you click to go to the awards. And if you're not on the Tilt and Talk page, please add yourself to it. We'd welcome you along with open arms. Yeah, please put us in the fan media category. I put it in three. Okay, and there's. <laughs> Yeah, we can do it, but that's the one we want to win. That's the one we think we've got to achieve. Okay. I'll put it on the best radio show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it will ask you to put a link to our shows in. If you put the link in that Craig's just put up um, on this post, just put that link in, and that'll that'll go straight to... We'll put it on the main page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Steve Wood, my dad's called Trevor. Can I have the t shirt? <laughs> <laughs> you could have done if your dad was called Trinity and his first name was Holy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron says, Yeah, last year's form was ridiculous. It was. You had to write a book, didn't you, to get nine hours? Yes, it was that. terrible. It was really horrible. I, I struggled to get through it. And it wasn't on yeah. merit. I didn't think it was on merit. No, it was, uh, about, it, was, it was about how many fans you be, had. Really. Um, well, the, the, the one that we went to the year before down in London was based on on votes. Now you were up against Celtic and Arsenal. Mm. Um, like the amount of f- fans that Celtic had had half of Ireland voting for them, and, mm. you know, mm. half of Scotland. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, little old Bermuda um, didn't quite win that one. Mm. Yeah. But it should be done on merit. It should be done on content. It should be done on the work that you do for the community. A good uh, presentation. Um, good looks. You know, everything. Yeah, good looks. Like, we'll win yeah, that we're that. We'll, we'll win that hands down. <laughs> crying out loud. How much hair you got? Not now, Adam. <laughs> Not now, Adam's turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get me coat. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, bother Pete, you all, mate. <laughs> Pete Taylor says, I nominated you for Sportswoman of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad. It was. It really was that. Yeah. 
<laughs> so when is it? So do we know when it is this year? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure our backroom staff this week, Craig, Courtney, will let us know. And Mick Jane says, I met Bob Latchford's brother, Dave, and it works too. And Craig says, Chris, are we not the only fan site run by fans for the fans? No, there are many, many of them, but uh, what they do tend to do, and some of them do tend to pinch our seat yeah. and, and run with them. But you know what? If they're recorded and we run them first, yeah. we can't copyright them. We wouldn't. We like people to have yeah. a little bit, just a little bit. Mm. Well. Yeah. We've mm. got to see it as a compliment, really. I think so. Yeah. Well, especially when, especially when, um, well, even a, a local, a local station that goes out all over the Midlands pinches just like yeah. That's I was about to say that. Yeah, I heard that on Tuesday, Wednesday night. Ladies and gents, switch FM one hundred and seven point five and DAB tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Listen to this show all over again. You're just doing that for Linda, aren't you? Yeah, she loves it. Last fifteen. Last fifteen. Well, mm. just before that, if it was good, if it was for good looks, we would all be screwed. Says Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh, Linda's saying it's December the 16th. December oh. the 16th. There you go, just before Christmas, mm. Christmas present. Yeah. Yeah. And Craig says, okay, but we are the best. Yes, we are the best, and we've been running nearly 10 years now, Craig, as well. 10 years of my life, so that's like fantastic. a quarter mm. of my life almost. Mm. I think next, next for our 10th anniversary, we'll have to have a really big... A big party. Big do. Big do. Do you yeah. know what? My birthday is Christmas Day. I've never told anybody this before. No, no only I've never had a party. Year. <laughs> so, never... I've never had a party. Haven't you? Oh, really? No, no. Well, how can I? Oh, Christmas, yeah. Christmas Day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah Everybody's yeah. doing their own thing. So the first ever show, was it just you two? Um, and a cat, which used to bite the bajozzle <laughs> out of my leg, believe me. In, in here? In here? In, yeah. Yeah, the cat's dead, thankfully. <laughs> 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 and um, on the first show, we had four listeners. Wow. So it's just grown massively. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'd yeah, love to yeah. see a re replay of the show when we won the League Cup. When beat Arsenal, uh, we, we started it just after that. We just after that, we were. Yeah. yeah so if it's ten that. years though. Yeah, yeah. Ten yeah. years. That's two thousand and nine. Yeah. We won the league in two thousand and eleven. Yeah. That's not quite ten years then. The maths is as good as my memory. <laughs> yeah. So we, you weren't doing it when we won the league cup. No, it was just after that. It was just after that. It was that. just after that. Was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so okay. 2011. So it's, yeah, so it's. And so I'd love to see that show from that Monday night after that Sunday. Eight years could be nine years. Yeah. But the what there was there was a. There was a podcast before that. that yeah, we were. We did do. We did do. I didn't do one before. I we didn't did do something that. similar yeah, because we we messed about just before Christmas doing something. So, uh, but we didn't really get going until 2011. So I'm putting us down as next next year is our tenth year. I don't care. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, well. Yeah. Because it started okay. in 2000. Yeah. It was, 2000 yeah. 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 It was 2010, really. Yeah. The seeds were sown back then. Yeah. We have to sow the seeds, don't you? Mm -hmm. You know. Hmm? I, I gave wow, an, an energy yeah. to one of my managers once, right? And I was uh, working out in Sweden, and um, he said, "What a pile of this computer system is." And we were developing systems back then. And I said, "Well, what do you do with a pile of that?" He says, "Chuck it in the bin." I said, "No, you don't. Plant some seeds in it and grow flowers next year." I'm going over to walk away. Walk away. Thomas Lockrum says, "I'm a good-looking guy. I definitely get the award." And Linda, <laughs> tune in for that. I bet you would, Linda. I bet you would. That's Craig saying that yeah. uh, you should present the Love Zone on Switch FM. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Love Zone. <laughs> <laughs> love, 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 love. Right, last 15 minutes. What can we do today, then? Last 15 minutes. Anything you would find in... To do with fun? Mm, no. Anything you'd find in a baker shop? Had that before? Find we, had that before. we had it before? I think so. We need to write these down. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anything you'd find in... Well, come on. As, as I've been to the hospital today, I think there Anything you find in a hospital. There you go. Anything you find in a hospital. Yeah, but it would be a bit... bit, 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 bit of topical. Let's be anything you'll find in a hospital. No, I think we've done doctor surgery before. In a okay. <laughs> but as this is... Um, um, being to hospital today, then anything you'll find in a hospital with a footballer's surname. Surname only. So I'm ready for the last fifteen. So I'll start with Mark Ward. Oh, that was it's my line. Oh. start. <laughs> you had to start, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, folks, you're a bit slow. Oh no, here we go. Jerry Ill. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, right. that was mine. That was yours. Mark Ward. Yep, we've had that one. Good one. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're all going Mark Ward. Ward now. Yeah, yeah, obvious. Oh no, I lost my. Internet. No, so Andy Leg. It's down Andy Leg. Andy Leg. 
Und die weg. Das wäre Arsch. <lacht> Ja, dann wurde ich leider nicht weg. Ja, ja. X-Ray Wilkins. X-Ray Wilkins. Ah, no, yeah. it's the same name. Yeah, I'm, I'm ah. fine, I'm fine. I had one job. <laughs> one job. That's all I had was one job. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Craig on the X-Ray Wilkins. I don't know if you've seen uh, Mark uh, Mick says, I went to the Holy Trinity School. I went oh. there as well. Can I have the top? Right. <laughs> I went to that school. It's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the seeds and water. And so then with beer. Yeah, who are we giving the details? You got a can. It's got to go for. It's got to go to Devlin. Got to go for the vote. Yeah, it's got to go to Devlin. Oh, it's got to go to Dev. I think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll I'll catch him up later. I kind of get that because you know he's with us for a lot of years, wasn't he? And made a lot of appearances, and he was a top player. But and he's been here a couple of times as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. We've had him a couple of times. Not the name drop, of course. <laughs> 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 no, no, you sit in the posh seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Um, but Gary Phillips, which one? Jerry Gowan, Tim Flowers, yeah, Barry and Freud. That's the first name I know, but it was a good one. It was a good one. That's a good yeah. Uh, Tilton the Bed, Tilton the Bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. okay. Uh, Peter Bedpanu, <laughs> Gary Tablet, Peter Bedpanu. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the winner, oh, that destroyed. is. I'm destroyed. I'm destroyed. I'll tell you what, Chris, people oh, have walked out early. Uh, Jude Beddingham. Oh, yeah, Lindsay Phillips. Mum said she's going with Christian Pegdison. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Gary Tablet. Oh, dear. Hotter chocolate machine. She's on a long drive, isn't she, Lindsay, tonight? Uh, she's not. Yeah. She's, uh, she's going around in circles. She's going <laughs> I've sent her a message, but it just says that she's active now, but not online. So we won't worry about it. Scroll down a couple, Chris, if you would, mate. Yeah. Oh, dear. Darren Nurse. That's a good one. Christian begged it. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, we had that last week, didn't we, for the uh, funerals? Oh, I think that's what I had to do. Oh, dear. It Check sounds, like, it sounds like that. Anyway. Steve Job, check and pulse. Darren Nurse. Darren Nurse, oh yes, yes, yes. We'll I'm not leave, sure about that one. We'll leave the rude ones. Yeah, out. I thought. I don't know. <laughs> Joe Hart, surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one from Nick Green. Uh, Tommy Doc. Oh yeah, Doc. That's Hurtie. a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Check and pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Bedpan. Not Kenny Burns. Linda's mom said sorry, we're nearly home. You got nine minutes. <laughs> Harry Eyebrows. Yeah. Jeff Nurse. Yeah. How about oh, that? Lindsay. <laughs> Bloody too late. Yeah. I wonder where she's gone. She's <laughs> probably been driving around since last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, so what do you want to do? Do you want to do a show next week? I think we may as well. Then we can and discuss that's... the uh, the uh, the international scene as well, can't we? Because uh, England are playing next month. Seven forty-five. Next Monday. Next Monday. And you want to do the live oh, haircut no, next week? Personally, Nick. Sorry. You want to do the live haircut next week? I get older, my head. I'm okay. Sure I've got okay. Hair written on, if I underline that, no, I'll perhaps remember it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Your England are playing Friday and Monday, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, we're, we're playing Friday and Monday. Yeah. Who are we playing Friday? Czech Republic. Is that in a qualifier or a yeah, 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 right, qualifier, okay. and then uh, Monday night's Bulgaria again, qualifier, yeah, right. So, sorry, I did lose touch with the international scene, I've said it a few times, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I would like, I'd like, to, I'd like to get it back. I'm going to say, yeah, I've got to go, all right, Paul, I don't know, I mean this, right? I'd like, I'd like to get my love for the international game back, but... yeah. Now's a good time because we are quite exciting again, you know, we've got some good, exciting young players coming through, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that are quite hungry for success as well. You can tell, you know, it's it's a different, completely different ap- era, I would say, to what we've had previously. Mm-hmm. Even though do you we think have... St George's Park has had anything to do with that? Yeah. What by my house? Is it? I do, yeah. I do, think that, yeah. I do think that, yeah. And I do think for, from the top to the bottom, the setup is very similar, the way mm. that the procedures that the players go through. Mm. Um, and yeah, I do. And I've, Southgate's obviously done a, a great job as well. Um so, yeah, I'm a big England fan as well as a big Blue. I always set up, I support three teams, Blues, England, and anyone that's playing them up the road. Mm. For me, it's just... about them, the better. Um, I think with Southgate, obviously he was in charge of the younger team, so he knows that the helps, younger players, so yeah. I think that's that's helped. Yeah, definitely. and the World Cup last year was, yeah. I mean, you know, 
disappointing in the end not to beat Croatia. But you know, I'm not going to do this on just surnames. I'm going to do it on first or surnames. Yeah, from now yeah, on. I think so. Dona Femi Martins. Diego. <laughs> Diego Maradona. Diego Maradona. That's a good one. Jake liver transplant more. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Jebbut. Diego Maradona. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be the one, isn't it? Yeah. Could we do the show and have the game on as well? Uh, no. No? No, the Facebook Live won't have well, that. Yeah. We, could, we could have a, um, a oh, TV we could in here. In here. But without oh, commentary, before, yeah. Yeah. without any cameras looking at it. Then. Yeah. 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 Can't we can talk about it. Can't we turn the sound down? Yeah. 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 Best of both. Yeah. 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 Yeah we've, done, yeah, we've done it before. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to get on the we'll screen we'll here. We'll have a little separate screen. At least we can see, we what's, can see going what's going on. on while we're talking, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Scar. Dan Scar's a good one. Peter Crutch. Lombardo Puncture. <laughs> Peter Crutch. <laughs> Peter, Peter Crutch. Crutch. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Adam's apple. Uh, Listen. Benji Smith, I miss Pew's passion for the international game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, about that. yeah I am as well. Yeah, I'm a big England fan as well as Blues, yeah. Yeah, I'll look us to do well. <laughs> Peter Taylor. Well, Peter Taylor, sorry. Maxime, Maxime Carillon. <laughs> swabby, swabby savage. I was going to say, this has turned into body parts, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Vinnie Bones. Oh, dear. <laughs> Try his idea. Yes, I think Mr. Mr. Fond is probably <laughs> just about... Take that one, Linda. <laughs> last one? No, no. Mm. Swab Larson. Yeah. Swab Larson. Bobby Good. <laughs> <laughs> Local touch. Stitch Hancocks. Uh, Joe Hartlands. Yeah. Sometimes I think our, uh, our audience are probably a bit too clever. Jeff Whelans. That was quite uh, Yeah. Right. Okay. We're almost done. Mm. Another Monday night. Mm. Flown by. Oh, it's getting Flown by, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, darker yep. and darker as the weeks go by now. And, uh, colder and colder. Colder and colder. And soon you'll be experience in the studio as it usually is <laughs> <laughs> just like st andrews in the tilton road on a february tuesday night yeah the snow will be coming through the windows <laughs> <laughs> mrs brown so glad to hear your good news today my friend yes yeah, yeah. me too yeah. 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 Me, yeah proper proper positive news and it's nice um yeah. i'm just saying before i've got my raf's brother uh, on life support at the moment so i've mm -hmm. just been able to see him tonight so get well soon gordon He's a Man United fan, and we always berate each other. We always have a go, and always having a dig. He calls me a certain two names, and I call him a certain two names, which can't be repeated. Um, and uh, just hope and pray that uh, he pulls through, and uh, everything comes out the right way for him. Mm -hmm. Well, Adam Wilkes, thank, thank you very much. much thank you for having me. I've been here, and um, I'll try better next time. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you bring your sense of humour. Always. Always. And Paul, thank you very much indeed. No next, problem. Next Pleasure as always. International break. So yep. it's um, Leeds up next. And then. We try and get, I'm, I'm determined to get you back into international football, Nick. I used to go to every game, mate, honestly. Did you? I, 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 I would drive down to every game at Wembley. Really? Uh, yeah, I promise you. Yeah. Old England Wembley was playing. Wembley. The old Wembley, the old proper Wembley. Wembley. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Liked it quite I like the new Wembley, Wembley, but the old Wembley was something special, wasn't it? Mm. And then Tuesday 22nd, Blackburn. Blackburn, that should be an interesting yes. one. But, uh, at St Andrews, that's on a Tuesday night under the lights. Yeah. And we look forward to that. Yeah. Okay. Next Can I just week. say before everybody goes off the show, box, can I just give a public service uh, information? Okay. <laughs> Guys, if you if you're worried about something, something's not right with your lower nether regions. Get it checked. Get it checked. Because if you hadn't had it checked, yep, there's every chance you might not be here today. No, well, I wouldn't be here. No, no, I wouldn't be here. No. So Just get it. Checked. Sobering thought. Yeah, get it checked. Mm. However, however petty it might seem. Just get it done. There we go. Mm. The public service announcement. <laughs> On behalf of the Tilton Talk Show. <laughs> and of course, Mrs. Brown, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Brown, thank you. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to do that tonight. <laughs> Slightly higher up table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to each and every one of you for listening. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Adam. And no myself. Thank, thank you very much. Good night. Please, 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 please be safe and try and get your money back. Take care, keep it on as always. Bring it all around. Now all you blue boys know what we mean. We are the lads from the Tilton. We'll support you till the end of the day. We're so happy following the blues. We love you, what more can we say? Let's see you in Singing our song, helping and sharing the love. 
Follow in the blues, we love you but more.